Hey, how are you doing, AP Cost students? It's Mr. Clifford with a quick overview of Microeconomics Unit 3, Cost Production and Perfect Competition. Most students agree that this is the hardest unit. The reason why is it, it requires you to understand a lot of key concepts and then apply them throughout the unit. You're going to start off by learning something called the Law of Diminishing Marginal Returns, which means as you add additional resources, additional inputs, right, the additional output generated from those resources will eventually start to fall. It's going to go from there and it's going to start talking about costs. It talks about fixed costs and variable costs and total costs, and then start talking about average total costs, average variable costs, average fixed costs. That's the reason why it's hard. Not that these things are difficult to calculate. They're just difficult to keep in your mind, but you've got to practice them. From there, you're going to talk about the graph, and that's what you have to really understand. From there, you're going to talk about something called long-run cost curves. You'll talk about something called economies of scale and diseconomies of scale, and then you go apply this stuff. You're going to learn about the four market structures. Perfect competition, monopolist competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. Now, these three are called imperfect competition, right? So you're going to learn those in the next unit. The first one you're going to learn is called perfect competition. You'll learn this concept, and you'll get a graph that goes with it. Right? You'll learn what the demand curve looks like and the marginal revenue curve. You'll put it on the graphs you learned earlier, the cost curves you learned earlier. You have to identify the area of profit. It becomes very graph-oriented, this unit. From there, you talk about the short run and the long run, how firms can enter. Right? If there's another firm making profit and I can jump in and start making that sort of product well, I'll start making profit and jump in too. Right? And you'll go from there, you'll talk about what the curve looks like in long run equilibrium, the perfectly competitive firm in long run equilibrium. Now this unit starts to get pretty graph heavy. There's these two side-by-side -side graphs that you absolutely have to know, the market and the firm. Make sure you practice those. Hope it makes sense. Good luck. Till next time. Okay, a quick bonus round for unit three. It's good, it's important, but it's not practical, right? There's no firm out there that draws their marginal cost curve and decides what we produce where the MR hits the MC. It doesn't really work like that in real life. The concept of economics is to get you a general idea of how things work and so it can better your decision making. So do firms use marginal analysis? Yes, right? They look at the additional cost, their addition, the additional benefit of making a decision and they definitely factor that in. Now, do they actually calculate their marginal cost from each additional unit and sit down and do it? Generally, no. And so don't freak out if you feel like, well, my dad runs a business and he doesn't understand what marginal cost is. He never draw a marginal cost curve. Yeah, you're probably right. He doesn't. But the concept is important, and that's what's going to help you make better decisions. Good luck.